Melan, Melan, Melan TV, welcome to another episode of the Mobile School Podcast, man. Like, today's a big day. A big day. Congratulations to the Indian community in tech. You are being well represented. But not only well represented, but, well, but you are being well represented by people who deserve to be there. If we're going to talk about inclusivity, we're going to talk about opening doors, it has to be based on meritocracy. And the Indian community, slow clap, slow fucking clap, shout out, let me go through the names, man, have to do justice to this, these are big moves, and I'm going to explain how as black people, we should embrace this mindset, and try to be, not like Indian people, but accept that, hey, nobody owes you shit. So big up, number one, to the CEO of Google, Sander Pichai. You know, everybody knows him, Pichai. I'm sorry if I pronounce your names wrong. I'm really sorry, my Indian people. Uh, Microsoft CEO, Sacha Nadella. Adobe CEO, Shantanu Narayan. IBM CEO is Arvind Krishna. Palo Alto Network CEO is Nakish Arora. And finally, Twitter CEO is Parag Akhawal. If I pronounce your name wrong, I'm really sorry. No need to go to the comment section and tell me how to pronounce it. P for Purdani. A for asshole. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't even read the comments because I never get comments anyway. But this brings me to the point of what can the black community who wants to get into tech do? First and foremost, yes, we can say, oh, they come from India from well-off families, it's not like they were like the slam doggy millionaire type of people. It doesn't matter. There's a lot of black people who come from well-off families who are not getting into tech, except for reviewing tech products like phones, instead of trying to learn how to code and getting into those type of positions. Out of all those names I've given you, nobody has a doubt. Nobody's saying, oh, this is one of those things where we like have to sprinkle brown people. No. Everybody's like, oh, okay, only now? What does this say about the black community? We need to stop asking for favors. If you stand up and say, hey, I need to be in that position, it should be because you deserve to be there. The CEO of McDonald's, that black dude, I don't remember anybody saying, ah, oh, this is affirmative action. It was like, oh no, this guy has been with the company for years. And we have a lot of black CEOs around in the U.S., but to get to this level where you run the biggest corporates, it's a big deal, man. It's a big deal. And yet, people might even try to shit on this and say, yeah, but the owners are moving to other things like Metaverse, Bit Bitcoin. Oh, they actually started another company, Alphabet, where they still run it. And then they made him this. Like, Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. It's great to see Indian people taking those positions. Don't even start with like, oh, I wish there were more women. There are women in Silicon Bay who are doing amazing things. Indian, gay, black, but it's not about them today. I don't want to say LGBTQ community. If I say it's not about you today, you go, oh my God, how can you say that? We're like slaves in the 1700s. You know what we be? Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. Point is... Big up to the Indian community. Because what happens when you see these things happen, you start having trust in the system. Like, oh, if you work hard, pay your dues, work in the company for long, they're not going to overlook you. You're going to get that position, which is a lot of white people, which is something a lot of white people went, didn't have to go through. We cannot say the same about a lot of white people in like these big positions, especially white people from America. Most of you like, oh, I started in a garage. Like, shut the fuck up, man. Shut up. Your mom hooked you up with a lot of money. Bill Gates. Your mom hooked you up with a lot of money. Jeff Bezos. But if you look at people who are not from the U.S., Eastern Europe, the motherfucker, Vladimir, these motherfuckers who are now becoming like big deals in Silicon Valley, they don't come from the U.S. White Americans, you are relaxing. But by relaxing, maybe 
you're not even relaxing you're just exposing that you guys were not that great the system just allowed you guys to get away with nonsense so big up to the indian oh by the way i fuck with you white people i'm not saying you guys don't deserve to be there there's a lot of great white people so i'm not one of those lesbian women with purple hair like oh destroy white straight men no 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 i'm just saying if we have to look at where everybody started like my guy said uh dave santana it's kind of different when the fire is where you start from and these motherfuckers have started from the fire and i don't blame you you don't have to be poor to start shit white people innovation is not genetic if you want to come up with a great idea come up with a great idea it's sad when you have people who say, oh, this worked because you're only white. And you're like, no, it's a great product. Or it's a great savior. And you have to explain yourself. But hey, hey, these things happen. You are where you are because of the past. So deal with it. Back to black people. It's time to focus. Focus our attention on things that matter the most. Influence and control. And we need to have control in all these big places based on meritocracy nobody owes us shit nobody owes us any favors we don't want to be part of some nonsense that we don't care about like some quota shit but we also don't want to be discriminated against that's a big deal so yeah big up to the brownification of silicon valley i think that's a bit racist to say brownification of silicon okay this is gonna be one of those like oh how can you say such a racist thing and i'm like i'm black and then a gay black person comes like fuck you but you're straight black and then another trans black person comes like fuck all of you i'm a trans woman and then somebody without eyes and ears is like i can't even see or hear any of this shit and it's like a race to the bottom but you'll remember this is not a fucking podcast no no not at all <laughs> no I'm an independent TED Talker. How are you?